The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. And on the horizon just a few days ago, saw this rainbow right there after a few storms started leaving off toward the east. That combined with those mountain views doesn't get any better than that. Thanks to Cindy Beach for today's picture of the day. And as radar scans the sky, not seeing anything right now. Did have some uh, downpours out there as recently as about 3 o'clock this morning, but those have since dissipated. We're on our way to a smooth sailing morning, but it is mild. It is muggy and we've got some patches of fog out there. All right, here's 8 o'clock. We're starting out dry for the most part. A mix of clouds and sun today and a front passing through that'll trigger some hit or miss showers and storms. You see most of those after 1 or 2 p.m. and along into the east of the Roanoke Valley. After sunset, we'll see that limited chance going down to about zero. This is 11 p.m. And again, we're just kind of mild and muggy for a Friday evening and into Saturday morning. But once again, seeing some patches of fog developing. Once we get the heat and humidity of the day going on Saturday, storm chances will be pretty limited. It looks uh, again pretty isolated for us during the afternoon and evening hours. So for today, Rocky Mount 88 degrees. That's the same for Lexington, Withville 81, South Boston 91. Fast forward to tomorrow, Roanoke is at 91. Lynchburg's at 89, Blacksburg and Covington at about 87 degrees. As always, helpful reminder for us as it gets hotter to avoid things like concrete, blacktop and brick surfaces. They absorb the heat a little more. That could burn the pet's paws or your bare feet. Meanwhile, severe weather getting going today. That's going to be in the Rockies and in the Plains. That threat advances a little bit to the east by tomorrow, but still stays west of the area. It's Sunday that we'll have to watch out for the chance for a few stronger thunderstorms. Most of those along into the east of the parkway. Reason why I say that is you see the yellow here. That's the deep moisture for storms to thrive off of late Sunday morning into the afternoon. So I think the threat for anything stronger is going to be higher as you go more toward Amherst and Appomattox counties as opposed to like or Grayson counties. But once that storm system drifts off toward the north, we're looking at things turning drier by the middle of next week, at which point we'll start to see things heating up once again. So for the New River Valley, we'll trade 87 tomorrow for 79 on Sunday due to more clouds and a few showers and storms. We'll be around 80 Monday, but as we turn drier by the middle of next week, high temperatures well into the 80s in the NRV.